day. From GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Today we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Kansas City Chiefs. Hi again everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always Charles Davis. And Charles we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football they're still valuable. Not just as runners but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. get us started is Logan Cook and we are underway from Kansas City this take it in at the goal line and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 the KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger a former MVP in this league it's Patrick Mahomes and when you think of Patrick Mahomes you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly you can't just put him into one box no matter how the game proceeds no matter what is needed he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. They'll, they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting and the flags came out almost immediately. Penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. That's fully Fadukasi who got in there and finished off the play. Well, we were wondering what they would do defensively to disrupt Patrick Mahomes. Sacking him on the first drive, that's a really good way to set a tone. The last thing you want to do is let him get established in the pocket where he can set his feet and throw wherever he wants to. Even though he does it well on the run and on the move, you definitely want to get him off the spot in the pocket. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now Mahomes. 
Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. So here are the Jaguars in great field position already. They'll be led out by the first overall pick from a couple of drafts ago, former Clemson Tiger Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school, one of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field, and can take off and run when under duress. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Four yards remain for second down. Lawrence throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down from the gun it's Lawrence steps away to his left and he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30 he's a talented runner and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Lawrence to throw. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Second and two. They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the 
rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll leave. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Come on. Mike 48. Mike 48. Mahomes again here on second and ten. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. Mahomes finding Juju there for the Kansas City first. No score after one on EA Sports. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Jags grab it. And he brings this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. Huge, huge play by the defense. Not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well usually. <laughs> Riley Patterson now for the extra point. Nothing Jaguars. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. 
Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're arming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now McKinnon to start the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 30 on second down, Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. To throw, it's Mahomes. Flushed out right, and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. From the 38, Mahomes. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Screenplay, McKinnon. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 31-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it, and it'll be second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. This is caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are within an extra point of tying up this ballgame. 
The big fella was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. They kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Lawrence. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to make it fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Fourth down on is Logan Cook to punt. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Yeah. 
So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you can have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. That's pulled in at the 32. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Taken in at the three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Message was at halftime. Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll look to ETN to start things out. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. ETN once more. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the shotgun, Lawrence trying for Kirk, and he's got him on the crossing route. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Yeah. 
And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second down and three. Draw play, ETN. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. That'll give them eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down, McKinnon. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On first down, McKinnon again. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And oh my goodness, what a catch at the six. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports.
could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes. Flush. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Trayvon Walker able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. From the gun, they'll try to run it, and they'll get him down right around the 16. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Mahomes going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And here he'll get it down to the seventh. So the face mask tacked on at the end of the play. Half the distance going to lead to a first and goal. And obviously those are important yards to be giving up this close to your own goal line. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Good work there. Hold them out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try with McKinnon. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McKinnon taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14-7. to So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And then in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter, plenty of time on the clock. Great. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Lawrence will throw. Open man is Kirk, complete. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From just shy of midfield, Lawrence over the middle. He's got his tight end, Ingram. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Lawrence going to throw again. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. That's Juwan Taylor, the right tackle. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Lawrence. And his throw here is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Back to throw, Lawrence eluding the pressure right. Oh no, he lost the football, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds, they keep it. Someone came around a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Lawrence. And that is incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Here we go, gotta have it, Lawrence. Well, he forces one there, it's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. 
picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs have just about sewn up this football game. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. It's zone coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. KC's offense ready to take over. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars, down 14 to seven, a little over 30 seconds remaining. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Throwing now, Lawrence. This is caught, it's Kirk. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. And they got to go thank the guys on D. A final shot now for Lawrence. Able to find Jones, and he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. He's going to let it fly. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. 
A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.